if I went into the tenants and I said, hey, look, I'm going to do a 10 or a 15% rent increase, I would have high tenant turnover and I would be the enemy. But since I went in and said, look, here's what happened with rents. Here's examples that you can verify. Mm -hmm. And the tenants asked for that 20 to 28. They didn't ask for the 35 to 40% that we could show happened in that year. Right. So I could have had, I could make more money if I had tenant turnover, but then I'd be the bad person kicking someone out of their house. I don't want to do that. No, yeah. I'm lazy also. So I like to keep tenants in place. But I expected 2022 to make about 168,000 in profit and it hit 203. Like I'm doing my taxes now. That was the profit after setting aside for uh, future repairs and everything. Oh, like a $40,000 increase of what I was expecting because this this viewer who was watching my channel pointed out 10% in property management is is a lot of your your profit. It's not yes. 10%, right? It's 30 to 50%. So what's a five to 20% rent increase? There you go. The number one powerful. mistake owners made was not raising the rent. So if you are going to raise the rent, small incremental amounts can have a huge impact. Graham Stephan would still own those properties that he sold because he wasn't getting a good return. And if you want a bigger um, increase without feeling like a bad person, use the binder strategy because the tenants on board, part of the conversation they're actually happy after the conversation ends. And I have a video coming out where two of my friends use the binder strategy and both of them lowered the rent from what the tenant suggested. Nice. Exactly. That's how they feel. That's how the tenant feels. Exactly. So everybody wins. Everybody wins. I love it. Yeah. So folks, uh, Dan, where can people find you? Cause you put out amazing stuff uh, and you always call yourself lazy. I call you efficient, but that's okay. 